Hi, today I want to talk about the effects of poor breathing on your body and what that actually looks like. Now, when you're breathing poorly, you'll tend to take more breaths than if you're breathing correctly. So you'll be taking around 20 to 30 breaths per minute and it leads to around 30,000 breaths per day. Now, in my last video, I talked about the, the required numbers, anywhere between 15,000 around about breaths per day, which is around 8 to 12 breaths per minute. Test yourself out and see where you are. Now, the effects of poor breathing is things like uh, aging, uh, hair loss, even weight gain. It'll also decrease in your clarity. Now, how that actually works is, is that when your stress levels are up, or when you're breathing heavily, yet you don't have any physical need to breathe heavily, like when you're doing exercise, what happens is your carbon dioxide levels drop, and then that disrupts the balance between your oxygen, oxygen in your lungs and also the chemical balance in your body as well, which will lead to uh, decrease in mental clarity, it will de it increase your stress levels, and also uh, allow you not to be able to catch your breath. Now here's the process that it goes through. When you go through this process, not only will it also drop your carbon dioxide levels, but your capillaries in your lungs start to constrict, which means it creates a suffocation sensation. And you know how hyperventilation makes you feel like you're starting to get dizzy and you start to stress out. Now that's exactly what happens when you are breathing incorrectly. So if you are panicking and if you are stressing at work, try to see if you can just belly breathe through that. Now that's the hard part of being able to get yourself out of this. If you ever have a panic attack, it's probably because you're breathing incorrectly and you've probably got high stress levels. So try to return back to the correct breathing, which you would have seen in my last video. Now, what I want you to focus on over the next few days is see if you can breathe, breathe through your nose instead of through your mouth. So you breathe in and then you'll talk. That way you'll actually filter out any disease you take in. Any of the large particles that you take into your mouth, you're not, you're gonna be filtering it through your nose and it allows your body to stay healthy. If you're sick and you're not getting over a cold or a flu or a sickness, concentrate on breathing through your nose and talking through your mouth so that way you're not taking in any disease through your mouth because what tends to happen is if you breathe in and you take in large particles or worse disease it sticks to your esophagus and that way it starts to infect you through there so i uh, thank you very much for listening to me i'm nate from elite pt